Hi, welcome to the IF in Dhaba. I'm Seema. Since we are having monsoons, so in monsoons we have a lot of fresh makai, corn. So today I'm going to show you how to make corn tikkis. So to know the recipe, stay tuned. So let me walk you through the ingredients for corn tikki. We require one cup of milk, half cup of suji, one medium sized capsicum, diced, one katori of uh, fresh corn, half of it has to be ground with two, three green chilies and half left as kernels, coriander, about five to six tablespoons of breadcrumbs, one teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon chaat masala, oil for frying, lemon juice or one lime, salt per taste and onions. So here I light the gas and I just put in the suji. I'm just roasting the suji. I'll roast it for about two to three minutes. There is no need for you to bring it to a pale pink color or anything of that sort. Just lightly on slow flame. Now since I've roasted it for two, three minutes, I'm going to just gradually pour in the milk. So here I will gradually pour in the milk. Keep stirring it while you are adding the milk. It's becoming thick, it's becoming like a lump. I add in the salt, I add in the chaat masala as well as the garam masala. You can see it's become a nice lump. I add in the corn, I add in the capsicum. I add in the onions, I add all together and I shut the gas, breadcrumbs, I add in the lime juice and now I mix this whole thing together. Now I'm just going to put it out. First I will just add in a little oil, very little just to grease the plate. Okay. Then I just grease the plate nicely. Alright. And then I just sprinkle the breadcrumbs. So you can see I have nicely sprinkled the breadcrumbs. This is how the ready thali should look. So now I will take this. So this is how you flatten it out with your hand. Now I am just sprinkling the breadcrumbs over it nicely. So it's nicely coated with breadcrumbs and this is the way it looks. So now I'm going to put this in the fridge and going to keep it there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once I take it out, I'll cut it into cubes and deep fry it on high flame. This is how the pieces have come out. After keeping them in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now I just take a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs. I've kept the oil for heating and I put it on high flame because we have to just push it in and remove it because there's no cooking to be done. I just dab the sides of the square and just go around it nicely it's coated well from all the sides and I'm just going to put it in for frying so 
So here we have the corn tikki which is ready. So here we have the makai ki tikki which is ready. If you like this recipe, subscribe to India Food Network. Any queries, comments, write in. Thank you.